We're back here with the most over man in wrestling. It's LA Knight. How are you? That's a big claim right there. The most over man in all of wrestling. I'll take it. Now we got past Max Dupree. You're LA Knight. When did Ooh. you know what? Exactly. What was the moment that you knew the crowd are super behind you as LA Knight? Uh, it, was, it was back in March. We were in Washington D.C. Sheamus and Drew were in the ring, and all of a sudden that LA Knight music hit. The place went a little bit nuts to where I was like, oh. Okay, this is different. And uh, it's kind of continued to build and swell since then. So uh, it's been something that's been picking up. Every place I go, it seems to get bigger than the week before. I do want to ask you, because just before March, you had the pitch black match of the Royal Rumble with yeah. Bray Wyatt. I think a lot of fans really felt you were kind of cheated at that with how you came out of it. How did you feel about the program in general um, and working with Bray? Well, I feel like that whole thing, that, that whole interaction for those few months, uh, kind of put me on the map for a little bit because here I was in a very visible role finally doing my thing getting a chance to make the most of the minutes as they say because whether you're going to give me 30 seconds or 30 minutes I'm going to make the damnedest of it and I'm going to make you remember it and that's exactly what I did so so no matter how the Mountain Dew match went at the end of the day I knew I was going to come out of there pretty damn peachy and so from then on it's just kind of been like I said this groundswell and it's been picking up from there because I've been able to come out just do my thing be me do me the way I know how to do and I'm getting everybody as far away from zero as possible I'm going to make you say something whether it's good bad boo cheer do what you want WrestleMania weekend everybody hoped you would be on the card was there a plan for you to be on it at any point because I know the night before there was a huge reaction for you what can you tell us uh, I have no idea is what I can tell you because I really don't uh, I, I got there and as far as I knew there was supposed to be something eventually there wasn't whatever and LA the city not me uh, let them know about it at Smackdown and at the Hall of Fame uh, and, and I think it was a look I'll go ahead and say it, it was a huge missed opportunity but here's the deal money in the bank's coming up you want to talk about retribution. You want to talk about making up for it. We're going to do that tomorrow. I would wish you luck, but you don't need luck. I don't need luck. A long time ago, I knew somebody who said good skill instead of good luck, because that's what you need. I went out uh, into this passionate, angry, 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 angry Chicago crowd, pissed off that their guy, their hero, CM Punk was no longer in the company. And I lured them in because that's the name of the game. That's how you play an audience. That's how you command attention. That's the balls that it takes to do something on the mic that you're fearless on. And if it doesn't work, you know you're gonna be fired when you walk back through the curtain.